Okay, so we're on day five of the Have Fun Be Safe event. Any setbacks so far? Anything that you've had to overcome? Yeah, because right now the, um, the lady who's meant to be coming here, Claire Williams, she was, she's like had a problem with her car, so we're going to have to do something about that. So you've had to cancel a session? Yeah, two sessions. Two sessions? I think we're just going to leave it at the two sessions. And the sessions that are left, we're just going to carry on as we wanted to carry on. Because we can't really do much about it without Claire, so we're just going to have to leave it at that. They can make a poster. I know it's going to sound really cheap, but you could do some information as well. I'm mm. um, just kind of developing it, so they're actually doing a poster using the, the information in front of them mm. to develop um, an awareness camp like a campaign yeah. poster. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So we can, we can do this together. I can get line paper, I mean, it's clear blank paper. We can get pens, crayons, and so on. We should have those on them as part of their equipment. Do you know much about drugs? <laughs> so do you know about the dangers that they can pose? Do you know much about drugs? No. Is this everybody there? Can anybody give me an example of a drug? Yeah. Cigarette is a drug. Cannabis is a drug. Cocaine is a drug. Yeah. Heroin. Heroin. What about the most steroids is another good one. What about the most common drug we haven't mentioned yet? Alcohol, thank you. Where did that come from? Yeah? Alcohol. Okay, so we've got lots of examples of different drugs. What I want you to do is just to choose one, okay, and to draw a situation involving a uh, young person, okay, that is risky, involving one of those drugs. Just choose one. My name is Cheryl, I'm the Assistant Learning Manager to Key Stage 4. I'm also a Student Voice Coordinator and I've been one of the lead members of staff here um, for the project Have Fun, Be Safe. The project actually started um, before the six weeks holiday, so it was when they were in Year 9. And what we did, we just, um, Cassius came along and he actually did in this, like a little um, session with the Student Council and just put it to them. Are you interested? This is what we're planning on doing. We'd like your involvement. Who's interested? Sign up. And then a group of students signed up to that, and they then became the five young leaders. And they assisted in leading the rest of the student council and making this day, as well, this week a success. Basically, we just make sure that it's praise, letting them know, constantly letting them know that they're doing a good job, having regular meetings. We meet once a week, um, every week, and every now and then, if I see the morale's going down, we'll meet a little extra, and I'll just have one-to-ones with them as well, so I'll even get them from a lesson and just speak to them, how's things going, how can I help you, um, how can we move forward with this, what can we do to take the pressure off you? And I think that's really helped because we've had that personal relationship, and it's allowed me to develop more, well, better relationships with the students as well, just from doing projects with them. I'm Claire Williams, I'm from Involve Higher and I'm a substance misuse worker, working with young people in Birmingham that have got substance misuse issues. And what's going to be the main focus of your workshops today? Um, drugs education, uh, basic drugs education, raising awareness, a um, little bit of harm reduction and some tips and techniques for reducing use and giving up 
just in case there is anybody that is using that doesn't want to come forward. The Oxford <coughs> English Dictionary gives the following definition of a drug. A medicine or other substance which has a marked effect when taken into the body. So what that actually means is anything that you take that changes your perception, your behaviour, your mood, yeah, can be classed as a drug, okay, a substance. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hand out some flip chart paper, and what I want you to do is think of all the drugs that you know and what their names are.